At the start of the 20th century, the Ottoman Empire was a spent force, a shadow of its former glory of the 1400s to 1500s that had struck great fear in Europe. The Ottoman Empire did continue to hold vast territories, but in Europe it had lost large swathes in the Balkans and all of its possessions in Central and Central Eastern Europe. By 1910, Serbia, Bulgaria, Montenegro and Greece had gained their independences. Consequently, the Ottoman Empire's last remaining possession in the European mainland was Romalia, a long strip of the Balkans extending from eastern Thrace to Macedonia and into Albania in the Adriatic coast and even Romelia itself was coveted by the new Balkan states, as it contained large populations of ethnic Serbians, Bulgarians, and Greeks, who each wanted to merge with their mother countries. In March 1912, Serbia and Bulgaria formed the military alliance, the Balkan League. In May 1912, Greece joined the alliance when Bulgaria and Greece signed a similar agreement. Later that year, Montenegro joined as well, signing separate treaties with Bulgaria and Serbia. The Balkan League then made plans to invade Romelia. The Balkan League was envisioned as an all-Slavic alliance, but Bulgaria saw the need to bring in Greece, particularly the modern Greek navy, which was hoped could challenge Ottoman naval power in the Mediterranean Sea. The Balkan League believed that it could achieve an easy victory over the Ottoman Empire for two reasons. First, the Ottomans were currently embroiled in a losing war with the Italian Empire in Tripolitania. And second, because of this war, the Ottoman leadership was internally divided and had suffered a number of coups. The Ottomans soon discovered the Balkan League's invasion plan and also prepared for war. By August 1912, rising tensions and some fighting in Romelia indicated an imminent outbreak of full-scale war. On October 8, 1912, Montenegro, which had territorial ambitions on Novi Prazar, declared war on the Ottoman Empire. The other Balkan League members, after issuing a joint ultimatum on the Ottoman Empire on October 17, 1912, then also declared war. In the war, the Ottomans fought from a disadvantageous position. Their forces in Romalia were outnumbered 3 to 1 and had to defend a long, hostile border on three sides from their Balkan enemies who could strike at any point along the border. The land war was fought in three theaters, Thrace, Macedonia, and Epirus. Bulgarian forces, which was the most powerful in the Balkan League, launched their major offensives in eastern Thrace, forcing the undermanned Ottoman defenders to retreat to fortified Adrianople, which in mid-November 1912 the Bulgarians began a siege. The Bulgarians advanced further east before being stopped just 20 miles from Constantinople, the Ottoman capital, with the arrival of Ottoman reinforcements. Bulgarian forces also swept into weakly defended western Thrace, capturing the whole region by November 26, 1912. Before the war, Ottoman military planners believed that the focus of the war would be in Macedonia, where they then deployed a sizable force. Even so, the Ottomans knew that a successful defense of Macedonia lay on the arrival of reinforcements, which however became impossible when Bulgaria invaded Thrace, denying the Ottomans an overland route from Anatolia to Macedonia. The Ottoman navy had also failed to break the Greeks' naval control of the Aegean Sea, preventing the transfer to the war zones of Ottoman troops from Asia and North Africa via the Mediterranean Sea. Following border skirmishes, Serbian forces, together with Bulgarian and Montenegrin units, invaded Kosovo province, advancing rapidly and taking Pristina on October 22 and moved toward the capital, Uskop. Then, the Ottomans launched a counterattack toward Komanovo, which was stopped by the initially surprised Serbian forces, which then launched their own counteroffensive that forced the Ottomans to abandon Kosovo province and retreat in disarray into Monastir. In early November 1912, Serbian forces advanced into Monastir and in a number of intense battles by mid-November had captured the whole province, with Ottomans retreating into central and southern Albania. 
the Serbians advanced into Albania, taking most of the region north of Vlora, while Montenegrin forces also occupied a section of northern Albania. Simultaneous with Serbia, Greek forces launched their offensives into Romelia along two fronts. In the east, Greek forces launched from Thessaly into Salonik province, taking Yanitsa, which cleared the advance to the capital Salonika. On November 9, 1912, the Ottoman commander in Salonika surrendered the city, realizing the futility of mounting a resistance, since Bulgarian forces were also advancing from the north. Greek forces then continued advancing into southern Macedonia, meeting up with Bulgarian forces coming from the north and Serbian forces from the northwest. At Epirus in the west, Greek forces also advanced northward, reaching Byzani at the periphery of Yanina. On December 3, 1912, the Ottoman Empire and Bulgaria agreed to an armistice, which ended large-scale fighting in most sectors. Peace talks among the belligerents soon opened in London. However, in January 1913, a military coup toppled the Ottoman government, and the new junta that was installed prepared to reopen hostilities. In February 1913, Ottoman forces launched a counter-offensive in eastern Thrace along two fronts, aimed at relieving pressure from besieged Adrianople. The offensives initially made some progress, but a Bulgarian counter-attack soon threw back the Ottomans. On March 11, 1913, a combined Bulgarian-Serbian force finally captured Adrianople. Five days later, March 6, Greek forces also broke through, capturing Yanina, and then advanced further north into southern Albania. On April 23, 1913, Montenegrin forces captured Skoder after a seven-month siege. On April 20, 1913, peace talks in London resumed, with the European powers forcing the belligerents to accept the Treaty of London, a prepared agreement which was signed on May 30, 1913, which officially ended the war. The treaty's most important provision forced the Ottoman Empire to cede to the Balkan League all European territory west of the Inos Media Line, thus ending nearly five centuries of Ottoman rule in Europe. Then on July 29, 1913, the European powers agreed to recognize the independence of Albania, again strong-arming Serbia, Greece, and Montenegro to withdraw their forces from occupied areas in Albania. The partitioning of other Balkan territories was left to the discretion of the Balkan League. The unexpected birth of Albania disrupted the secret Serbian-Bulgarian pre-war partition agreement of the Macedonian region. In particular, Bulgaria was upset at its less-than-hoped-for territorial gains in the war and put pressure on Serbia to withdraw from occupied territories. Greece, growing wary of Bulgaria's intentions, then entered into a secret military alliance with Serbia, setting the stage for the resumption of hostilities, the Second Balkan War.